Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Enhance your trading insights by synchronizing your FTMO account with TradingView in 2023. This tutorial provides an intuitive guide allowing you to leverage TradingView's comprehensive analytical tools in conjunction with your FTMO account. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. First thing first guys is to head up to TradingView account. So go to TradingView.com as you can see right in front of us. And then all you need to do next is to create an account in this platform if you do not have an account already. You can create an account using Google, Facebook, Twitter, uh, or what is called X by now, Instagram, or even Apple account. After that, you have to log in into your account and then you will face this interface. So after you do that, to connect into any other brokers with your trading uh, view account, you should go to this menu. You'll find products, community, markets, news, brokers. Click here and click on compare and review. So here guys, you will find the top uh, tools that are basically being used by other people at the moment. In case you didn't find your uh, desired application, don't worry about it. Simply just go to the homepage again and through here, go to the market summary choose one of these tokens it could be random one for example bitcoin and then here you will find the chart some information about the token itself and basically you just have to ignore everything go here click into this icon which is launch full chart view do that and there you go so now we are on this page in this page all you need to do is to find let me just remove everything so we can have a clean chart so this is the, the clean page when you find it for the first time it will open like that you just have to make this widget bigger you'll find here four different sections so you'll find here the stock screener pine editor study tester and trading panel click on it and then here you will find your desired thing so here if you didn't find it simply just click on this see all brokers and you will find all this huge list with all different kind of platforms so in our case we need to find f TMO. So let's try to find it out. In case you missed it, simply all you need to do is to click on Ctrl F, FTMO, and as you can see here, we couldn't find it eventually. So what is the problem basically here is that TradingView itself doesn't support it. So let's check if FTMO from their side they support TradingView. So click here. Let's search for. Let's open a new tab. FTMO TradingView. There we go. And as you can see, there is nothing about it in trading view itself. So here there's just research. So it itself, FTMO doesn't even support uh, trading view. So how can we integrate these two? Well, in general, we are not going to integrate them together, but we are going to make uses of trading view for the sake of trading inside of FTMO. Now, basically, what is FTMO? So here, as you can see, FTMO is basically a trading platform where we can trade, uh, for example, uh, USD, pound, euro, euro, Czech, uh, Canadian dollar, Australian dollar, and the other currencies as well. You can find a lot of currencies to trade. And this is only platform for currencies, guys. So in here, you will find charts that they look somewhere around that. Well, these charts are not very helpful to make you invest in these currencies. They don't have enough information. Well, for the small, not smart, but but for the experienced people, and it who are been who has been like trading for years now they can get some information just from these charts and they can start investing but for beginners well this chart means nothing to them especially for me for example this chart literally means nothing i can't understand what it means i mean i got it there is some time the price is going down sometimes going to the top but the variation is not making any sense for me why is it going down what is the pattern of it and some explanation that will need to be explained later on so this is where trending view comes to help it will literally explain everything for you within a couple seconds so simply let's say that you want to trade a uh, dollar for example the united states dollar so simply go here and let's change for it so here it is, let's go for example for the US, the, here it is, for example, Euro to USD, let's click on it, 
and as you can see guys now this is the page of it simply just click on the same screen full screen button which is over here click on it and now we are on the chart so let's close this and let's remove everything from this page so basically here in this specific page you have all the tools needed to actually start trading so you might tell me what are these tools we look on the left here you have trend line what can you do with it you can literally draw a line okay smart person what is it for well basically there is a rule on the trading which is called support and and resistance so what is the difference between support and resistance uh, they are both virtual they are not really a real thing but in general they are a very important line to draw because each one of them has a very important role the support is the thing that is stopping the, the candles from going all the way down to the C. so as you can see here for example if this uh, red candle as you can see here hits the uh, the like the support that we have drawn it goes back here then it went down and then the confirmation if it didn't have this confirmation trust me guys this would go all the way to the top so this is an example for it so look at here so it, it went all the way to the down here and then once it uh, went down this is no longer called a support line it's called now a resistant line so once it's it's past it it will go all the way to the top and this is a very very interesting rule to put in mind and you have made it in a couple of seconds now I've made these lines in the correct place because I have a little bit of experience but for new people they wouldn't, do, they wouldn't understand how to make them well basically here you go it is totally for free from them you can simply use this tool which is called fib retracement and they will give you even like too many resistance points and support uh, lines that can help you to trade in this currency and help you choose and make the best decisions for your FTMO uh, platform. So basically this is the uses of TradingView with the FTMO. You can't connect them to both together but you can like utilize one to be in benefit of the other. So you can use the tools that you have in TradingView to boost your decision making and make it more accurate so you can make more profit and, lo and make your loss percentage much more lower. That is how you can use it the correct way. Otherwise there is also here indicators and strategies that you can use for your own benefits but this is generally how you can use it you can use it even more if you did have the like the premium version but in general you only need these three tools so you can make better decisions making in your FTMO accounts so yeah guys that was it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial